Hi, my name is Caroline Ellis, and I decided to do my semester-long project over gun control versus gun rights. So, gun control continues to be an extremely controversial issue within the United States, and the government does not seem to be nearing a solution anytime soon. The stereotype is that the Democratic Party leans more towards the gun control side of things, while the Republican Party is in support of gun rights. Both sides hold strong opinions on the topic, and persuading either one to see another point of view is far from elementary. While protecting the public from gun violence is not a political issue, but rather an issue of safety, policies regarding this topic are often used as persuasive tactics when it comes to elections and other political matters. Past candidates have made arguments that are strictly tailored to their pool of potential voters. For example, Donald Trump, who is an active member of the National Rifle Association and a firm believer in the gun rights movement, has argued countless of times that guns are not the problem here. At one of his rallies in Indianapolis on November 2, 2018, he spoke about the tragic Bataclan attack that occurred in Paris in 2015. He said that if guns were on the other side of things, going the opposite direction, that Paris wouldn't have had 130 plus people dead. In this same 2016 election, presidential candidate Hillary Clinton made a point to address the public's concern with overwhelming amounts of gun violence and how gun control can be a potential solution. In an article written by Rena Flores in a segment on CBS this morning, in June of 2016, Clinton stated, that she believes that weapons of war have no place on our streets. Both parties and candidates of these parties have given their two cents on how they would like to combat gun violence within the United States. However, each candidate has only really appealed to the beliefs of voters who already associate with their specific party. Instead of shoving one's own beliefs down the throats of those who don't agree with them in hopes that they will just have a switch in their perspective, I think that it is important to understand why an individual's stance on the matter is the way that it is first. It is important to first understand that although this topic held such a massive stake in the 2016 election, gun violence is not a political issue and should not only be talked about for the sole purpose of gaining votes. Regardless of where one stands on the political spectrum, everyone should be able to agree that the safety of this nation should be the number one priority, no matter what. I ask that you put politics aside and think about a scenario where someone was harmed at the hand of a gun. One of the most broadcasted tragedies related to gun violence was the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting that occurred on December 14, 2012. While the outcome of this event was horrific and tragic and many lives were lost on this day, I ask that you think about your current stance on gun control and gun rights. If a teacher or any other figure of authority in this case scenario had a gun to protect not only themselves and their students at the time that Adam Lanza arrived at the school with a semi-automatic gun and the motive to kill, if the teacher were able to save some of their students solely because they had a weapon to protect themselves, would your outlook still be the same as it is right now? Some may say, why not a taser or other form of defense, but when in the face of danger, those items would not be able to protect in the same way that a gun would. Even with laws already set in place, this tragedy still occurred. Gun control has proven time and time again that a law is not going to stop someone from doing something illegal. Even though drunk driving or any other illegal activity is against the law, people still continue to do them, even despite the consequences. If the enactment of a law put a stop to every single illegal activity that there is, then there would be no need for prisons or jails or any other type of incarceration. The NRA states that criminals, by definition, do not obey the law. So who or what are these regulations protecting? Tragic events such as this one are unpredictable, so it is better to be prepared rather than search for justice after the incident has already occurred and lives have already been lost. If a law-abiding citizen 
is purchasing a gun for the sole purpose of protecting themselves and others, then who can say that it is a bad thing? I think one of the reasons so many people are anti-guns is that if it actually came down to it, they personally don't think they have what it takes to fire the gun in the face of danger. There would be no blame placed on any object. There should be no blame placed on an object that is incapable of causing harm unless operated by an individual who has a motive to do something wrong. Guns are not the problem here. People with the wrong morals and wrong motives are. While it has been proven time and time again, an inanimate object cannot be to blame for the actions of an individual. We need to stop associating firearms with harm and violence, but rather protection and safety. Gun control will not put a stop to gun violence, but training those who are mentally and physically capable and able to operate a gun to, to do so may save the lives of a number of innocent people. Thank you.